Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak regarding like hidden uh, eight bonuses for the PvP. Like there is a lot of hidden stuff in Call of Dragons and until you are not gonna get to the certain level, you won't gonna see what kind of buffs you can get. So in this video I will try my best to tell you where are those hidden uh, buffs and important additional buffs for your fighting gameplay, right? And yeah, if you are interested in this video, I'm pretty sure you are going to have some uh, new surprises, right? So first of all, uh, well, construction is like one of the main and most important aspects of the game. Without construction, you are no going nowhere, right? And well, everybody knows that Town Hall is the most important uh, building in the game, not only because of the additional uh, Legion capacity, which is amazing buff, 25%, also... When you are progressing through the town hall levels, you are getting additional legion queues, right? Which means you are starting with one and two, three, and then you are getting five after twenty-one level. But uh, and like, but besides that, there is also great buffs, especially like HP buffs, defensive buffs, attack buffs, and so on, right? So first of all, when you are speaking about buffs, we have to look at the arm or army buildings, right? Uh, whenever you are upgrading your um, army buildings, every single building gives you a different kind of uh, bonus, right? For example, for archers, uh, we are getting defensive buffs, and when you're going to have 25 level, in total you will, you will get 2% defense overall for every single troop type. It's not only about archers, right? Um, and in terms of uh, cavalry, cavalry has an attack buff, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, the uh, infantry has attack, and what's important, the my favorite buff, which is in the game currently, is overall HP bonus, which is amazing buff for uh, your troops, because it gives you the survivability, and the flying units building gives us defensive buff, defensive bonus, uh, which is quite good, right? In total, you are getting quite a good amount of uh, stats only simply because upgrading building, which means uh, you will get uh, more um, troops per day, right? Also, in addition to that, uh, hospital buildings are give us HP bonus, guys. It's 0.5%, 0, 0 but we have 4, which, which means in total we're going to have 2%. So everything is adding up whenever we're going to have like full uh, buffs around the game. Every single percentage is important, right? Um, like whenever you're going to upgrade your buildings, whenever you're going to finish your research, every single buff will be important simply because that's uh, that's how you're going to have a advantage against your enemies, right? Of course, uh, upgrading rally uh, the archers or in, in general the troops buildings cost 2k gems per one, but uh, the shaman hunt, for example, hospital buildings are quite hard because in order for us to upgrade the hospitals to 25 level, we will need to have a rally drum, right? And that's the building which needs treaties, and that's the building which is really, really hard to upgrade. Unfortunately, mine is still on 22, right? So we already have two types of buildings which are giving us a lot of additional buffs for our PvP. And I guess, like, if you are a fighter in this game, you are seeking those kind of buffs whenever you are fighting, right? Because you know how much it's actually worth it, right? Uh, of course, we have to speak regarding research, and in research, there is important buffs, which I suggest everybody to focus on, right? Let's start from the beginning, simply because we are speaking about uh, PvP buffs, PvP bonuses, we have to be on a military technology, right? Let's not speak about tier of uh, troops because that's like normal to upgrade them. Uh, we need to speak about the most important buffs, right? Such as first aid, one, legion HP 15%. 15% is just too much to not to take it, right? I understand it takes a lot of time to upgrade the first aid, even the blue ones, and the defensive formation, 15% legion defense, it means increases defense to all units and increases HP to all units, right? 
this tool and after that increase of uh, like assault strategies 1 to 15 percent legion attack these buffs have to be on a max i guess don't skip them because i understand you you kind of have to have eight levels to progress through the technology but but these buffs are important i'm not saying like uh, skip tier 4 and start upgrading this three but of course get tier 4 uh, with the flying units but don't miss out on this uh first aid defensive formation and assault strategies run right because that's the most important buffs uh, in terms of the pvp gameplay in the game after that of course we have an even better defensive formation and uh first aid uh, on the pink side which is a higher level buffs right uh defensive formation uh, two on a max level like one more level and like to 10 level gives us nine percent guys come on in total like 25 percent increase that's why tier five players are uh, hard to kill because they have more defensive stats guys 25 percent here we maximum can have like 15 percent so that's why i recommend everybody to not look around the, the buffs which are the most important and try to upgrading them right first aid come on like 25 percent we don't need to have a rally building 25 or watchtower 25 in order for us to have uh, this first aid 2 and defensive formation to 10 level which means even as a tier 4 player you will be able to get more like 25 percent more defense to all troops and 25 percent uh, more hp to your old troops right so don't miss out on these one two three four five um, most important uh, military technology researchers because that's what actually makes you stronger right even as a tier four uh, in in general about assault strategies too unfortunately it will be really hard for us to get this uh, this bonus uh, because we need to have uh, supply chains on a maximum level and in order for us to have supply chains on a maximum level we need the land of plenty on a maximum level and that needs uh, the research building to 25 which means i need to have watchtower or like rally building to 25 which means that's the general road to tier 5, right? I'm not still there. I'm trying to get to tier 5, but uh, this is kind of stuck for me. I need to wait until my other buildings will catch up and I will be able to progress through and start uh, upgrading assault strategies to to max level so even if you are not tier 5 player you can still have amazing buffs in terms of uh, pvp and fighting as a free-to-play player such as me i have spent a zero dollars in this game and yeah finally my blue side is finished and i'm already finishing my pink most important uh, bonuses right uh, other than that like this uh uh, single out uh, troop type uh, bonuses which is like marksman unit and like generally the other thing that's like a single out bonuses which depends on a which uh, which is your main troop type and what do you fight with that's why i fight with marksmen and i fight with a mages that's why uh, these two are the on the highest level it's waiting for my research building and assault strategies to to be on a max level in order for me to continue right that's already a tier 5 road right i'm not speaking about how to get to tier 5 i'm speaking about how to be strong how to stay alive longer how to be more uh tankier and how to deal more damage this is the buffs which are pvp buffs pvp bonuses which are really 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 important you will feel the difference by the simple gameplay right like 20 percent like nine percent by one level i understand uh last level needs like 144 days that's like four months or something like five months uh so yeah you need to have a lot of speed ups uh that's like general uh, buffs which are some kind of hidden buffs right which are important for us to unlock and you know important for us to use whenever we are fighting during the pvp that's what you makes you stronger at the end game right another way of getting uh, the bonuses for fighting is of course mana stones right near the behemoths uh, there is like uh depending on time i guess in one hour i will have we will have mana stones dropped some of them are legendary some of them are like epic some of them are like just rare uh blue pink and the, the yellow run right so there is like different buffs different bonuses so sometimes it's hp sometimes it's defensive buff 
um, attack one and yeah that's the main ones right the legendary one gives us the highest amount i guess like 8 or 15 percent or i'm not sure how much it is like i need to see it and of course if you will have legendary hp ones that's like the best one in my opinion because i think hp bonus hp uh, bonus in general in this game is the best one in order for you to get merits in order for you to generate uh like impact during the pvp right and yeah you might ask which bonus is the best one which bonus is the most impactful uh doesn't really matter if you are tier 4 or tier 5 player i think uh, hp bonus is, is just the simply best one right like i understand that the attack bonus might be a trap for the eye because you will be stronger but I think in order for every single type of player to be impactful uh, in fights and doesn't matter which uh, which troop type you play with, it's archer, mage or infantry, I still think that HP buff is the most important. Um, then I think it's attack and the third one should be the defensive one, right? Of course, if you are an infantry player, you might rate defensive buff, defensive bonus more than attack and that's when you will have second choice as a defensive uh, bonus for infantry other than that i think uh, well in archers love hp bonus mages love hp bonus uh of course infantry ad admires hp bonus on a mana stones and in general and i think only cavalry might be like the uh, troop type which will try its luck in terms of uh, march speed bonus right because they like like to be faster or attack bonus because their main job is to go to the back line and to destroy the enemy in the in fastest way and run away right they just don't need to have a lot of hp or a lot of defensive stats that's what not that's not the gameplay cavalry hero pairs are generally fighting with right so I think uh, we covered almost every single buff uh, which is in the game uh, in terms of constructions, in terms of research, like general PvP bonuses, right? Uh, and of course mana stones which should never be forgotten. Remember to try to have the perfect mana stone uh, before the PvP, before the war or even before the behemoth fights, right? And of course uh, I did not really mention in, in terms of behemoth fights, you can actually get bonuses from the behemoths also, right? Like for example, uh, this flame dragon has speed recovery which is not the PvP uh, bonus. Uh, let's check here, uh, maybe Necro Giant will have, yeah, Destruction Engineering, so some of the behemoths has like the uh, HP bonuses, some of the behemoths has attack bonuses, so it, it really depends, right? Um, right now I'm not having luck to check it yet, damage deal 2%, that's another uh, bonus, uh, but in terms of behemoths there is a wider spread on how, what kind of buffs you're gonna get, uh, but generally there is some kind of behemoths which are giving pure uh, pvp bonuses which is really really important to get and yeah like behemoths also give you more than uh, pvp buffs it's it gives us a lot of different stuff also right uh, maybe dire bear yeah melee unit attack five percent that's the generally the uh, like pvp uh, bonus which is quite good right if you are infantry, especially if you are cavalry, you are going to love this uh, this kind of bonuses, and it's also adding up, and it becomes really really great uh, if you have every single bonus in the game. And trust me, it will affect your gameplay, and it will affect your troops' uh, fighting potential. I hope you understand understood more after watching this video about the bonuses of this game than before. If you did, press like, subscribe, share. Uh, we are getting really, really close to 1,000 subscribers and I'm getting really excited because I never understood that I could take this channel to this position. Um, I wish everybody amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. Uh, we are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and luck.